Hey guys, welcome to a new TW video. This is of course our WWE 2003 mod. We are on the Go Home Show for the 2003 Royal Rumble. We're hopefully, you know, we have a good episode here that builds up, you know, the storylines we've got going forward and allows us to branch into the Rumble, have that pay-per-view coming up, and then we can slowly branch into a lot more feuds on the way to No Way Out and then so on and so forth. Now the good thing is on this day, it was Joe Brandy pay-per-views as well, so it means like everybody will be working towards No Way Out, etc. I can't remember off the top of my head when they introduced the um, Split Plant brand pay-per-views. Probably was not I wasn't watching wrestling, but as I say, it gives us that chance that every show, at least a pay-per-view, will be stacked. But we'll jump in this one, as I say, 17 segments, quite a lot to get through, so let's crack on with Monday Night Raw. So, sold out 15,000 in the Jerome Schottenstein Centre, or Schottenstein Centre. And um, we start off, Christian is obviously not in the Royal Rumble, he's this somewhat vendetta from Eric Bischoff against him. So he says, come on, give me a chance in this Royal Rumble. I want to take my claim to become you know, a world champion in the future. So, you know, it's cool. Bischoff says, that's fine, we'll give you a match tonight. You lose this, you're definitely not in the Rumble. So Christian worked well, improvised to his advantage, a B plus 88. He got the show to a strong start, and it got the crowd hotter as well. So Christian has been announced that his opponent will be Rob Van Dam. Beats RVDs in the Rumble, loses, and he's not. So that's a B83. Bischoff was superb, working with a script. It got the crowd hotter in the Rumble storyline. Advanced with this segment. The match was the opener, and it was about they had great wrestling and good heat. And it saw Rob Van Dam defeat Christian in 1340 by the five star Frog Splash. So, B80, both guys were a good 79 rated performance. The worry again is the lack of psychology, which seems to be the ever reoccurring theme back in the early 2000s. So, not a lot of guys are going to have this, so this is going to be interesting if we can make that jump to A rated matches. But good regardless from where they were at that time, inconsistency of RVD and the lack of psychology. The negatives. Small hype video promoting the debut of Batista is going to be soon, so just really documenting his dominance, etc. D plus 51. Next up, we had a poor match, but it saw a three minute warning Rosie and Jamal defeat the Hurricane and Maven in 6 11 when Jamal defeated Maven with a Simone Spike, Maven being the weak link. A C minus 55 is what it is. You can see here the weakest guy in the match, of course, is Maven, but we're trying to build up Jamal. We're trying to build Jamal up as a dominant force here. And as I say, over time, he will become the man. So, those are the performance skills. Jamal and Rumble skills. But yeah, just a good win for 3 minute warning. Interestingly, look at that. Rosie, negative crowd reaction. Jamal, negative crowd reaction. And Maven as well. So these are guys we really do need to build up. Our skill sets are quite poor in this. Next up, they're celebrating their win before Booker T and Goldust run in. Beat them down, of course. Booker and Goldust, the tag champs, had been beat down previously, so they're getting their revenge here. And Jamal under it performed. Booker T was good, and it was a C64 for that return. Next up, we've got Victoria and Stephen Richards coming down to do guest commentary on our women's match here. So that's a D plus 49, Victoria Scouting, potential future opponents for the women's championship. And we had a decent matchup that saw Trish defeat Molly Holly in 739 by Chick Kick. Actually, very impressive C66, uh, C plus 66. Quite shocked at that. Good performances from both ladies, uh, probably two of the better workers in the division. And no negatives, so that's good to see. Certainly, two ladies I think we can count upon going forward. Next up, Christian's in. He's really beaten down. He wants this Royal Rumble match. Bischoff says no, but you know, he's going to give him a match at the pay per view, you know, if he can win it might give him opportunities in the future. So he's going to be deb he's going to be taking on either a debuting star or a returning star at the event to be determined. And that's a B minus 74. Hype video for Randy Orton. He's coming back from injury very, very soon. So it's a C minus 55. And that hype video for Randy means we're getting ever closer to the, the return of, the, of Randy Orton. Then had a poor matchup that saw a Test defeat Dilo Brown in 628 with a Test drive. 
a C minus 58, just really putting test over here. Both Stacey Keeper and Theodore Long did some good work at ringside. So that might help us in the future, maybe pushing test, because we know if we've got him on the show, Stacey Keeper counts as one of the attractive women, so that's always a good sign. But negative crowd reaction for test, so the crowd not really liking the skill set he's got, so someone will push forward anyway. I think it's one of the ones that's just like, Let's be honest, there'd be a negative crowd reaction every week for Roman Reigns, so why don't we just push test and we'll see what happens. Next up, the Dudleys are back after their beatdown, and they says they're going to take out their frustrations on Lance Storm and William Regal, and they're going to show that they should become tag team champions yet again. So it was a B-74. Both guys improvising well. That co main event actually was very successful. It was a good wrestling match with decent reaction from the audience. The Dudleys defeated Lance Storm and William Regal in 14.02 with Bubba Ray Dudley defeated Lance Storm by pinfall with a Bubba Bomb. B82, as I say, is impressive. Both Dudleys with good performances in the 80s. 71 for Regal and a 66 for Lance Storm with a tag storyline advancing here. Skill improvements for both Regal and Lance Storm. This means that we have gotten announced it is going to be a fatal four-way tag team match for the tag team championships at the Royal Rumble. Booker T and Goldust will defend it against both Freeman at Warning. They'll also defend it against Lance Storm and William Regal and the Dudleys as well. So C65 for that announcement. That should be, a, hopefully, a good match. Hit Marvel main event now. Triple H just saying he's going to beat Scott Steiner in tonight's six-man tag. And he's also going to defeat him to prove that he is the most dominant world champion of all time. A90, because this is a Triple H show. And that's our best matchup so far. Absolutely perfect. We're actually going to get pop for once, hopefully. An exceptional matchup. It was the team of Scott Steiner, Kane and Shawn Michaels, who defeated Triple H, Ric Flair and Chris Jericho in 1813, when Kane defeated Jericho with a tombstone pile driver. B plus 89. Great performance from Shawn Michaels. Kane were a good one as well. Jericho and Flair. Uh, sorry, Jericho and Triple H. Flair and Steiner were okay. Two storylines gain heat. And that's all the momentum in the world on the side of Scott Steiner, Kane and Shawn Michaels. And the scary thing is, if that had a hot associated storyline with it, that could have been even better. And we finish the show with Scott Steiner putting Triple H through a table and posing with the world heavyweight title. So A90. And for once, a B plus 87 out of nowhere. Absolutely fantastic. Just shows you, you know, if you get the right things right, you can get an absolutely solid rating. But the show increased our popularity in 31 regions, which is everywhere we broadcast at this moment in time. And, yeah, I'm hyped for the Rumble. So just to confirm, uh, on the raw side of things, there won't be too many matches because uh, I'm sticking with the limits we've got on pay-per-view. But we are going to see the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match. Christian versus uh, mystery opponents, if you want to let me know who the mystery opponent could be. We're also going to have Triple H versus Scott Steiner for the World Heavyweight title. And of course, the Rumble match. We may have a women's title match. and may put that in the pre-show, pending time constraints. But overall, I am fairly happy with that. Do you know, I'm really happy with that. As I say, it just shows you get a good rating out of nowhere. Uh, I've noticed a lot of guys are getting snapped up by independents. Uh, AJ Styles is actually on a written deal with CMLL, so big negative for TNA there, but it's something where AJ Styles is maybe someone we'll look at 2006, 2007. It really depends how much I get into the save and how quickly I can, I can get there, whether we do start to take it away from, from realism, but we certainly intend to stay realistic for the moment. Uh, never say never, though, because we could lose a big name at one point. Just bring in Luna Vachon. Uh, we needed some female wrestlers just to bulk it up a bit. So Luna's in. Daphne's in as well. Uh, unsure which brands will be on, but they are here. We're all getting a 1916 rating. Drug test was 17,000. Holy shit, that's quite expensive. Triple H doesn't like test. Says he doesn't sell worth a, worth a damn. I'm sure they've had a bit of a, a feud before over a, a Mrs. McMahon at one point, or Miss McMahon it would have been, and Bubba Ray Dudley doesn't like Rosie. But man, Strowman's brother, need to keep him in. But now overall, as I say, I'm not going to listen to them, I'll be keeping who we keep. And yeah, I think we're in a positive position now. Prestige is good, momentum's good, financially good, finally getting a bit of pop anyway, but as I say, 
we are the biggest company at national level in the game, so there is no real issues with that. So I'm now going to head on, we're going to book Smackdown, that'll be in the next episode, and then the episode after will be, of course, the Royal Rumble. So all I can really say, guys, is thank you for watching. As I say, any predictions for those matches that have been announced so far, let me know who you feel will win, who will be Christian's opponent. Any likes or comments on TW, your own saves, let us know how you're getting on, how you're finding the game these days, because we should be roughly at the two-year anniversary, which is quite frightening. That we're nearly full through the game's full life cycle. And yeah, there'll be a button pop up with a subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And the playlist will be just below that. But thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.